All right, hello guys. So here's our video for our um, the uh, Dishy Do um, Starlink RV roof mount. So we're going to do a quick, uh, so there's going to be some time lapse in here because we're not going to wait for um, the uh, Starlink to locate its signal, but we are going to let it begin to search. So step one, on the left we have a uh, antenna control unit that's going to be down inside the RV, on off switch, up, down, right, left with an LED that tells you when um, the antenna is aligned to be stowed. And obviously on the right, you know what that is, that's the uh, Starlink indoor unit. So we're gonna put this antenna up and then we're going to plug the Starlink indoor unit into AC power and the antenna will then begin to search. So um, so how we go about turning it, uh, bringing the antenna up is we turn the green power button on and then we press the up arrow. At this point now we're going to plug in the um, the indoor unit and let it search so at this point I'm going to go to a pause and uh, we'll let the antenna begin its search so as you can see the antennas began to uh, search and acquire um, satellite signal so we're going to go ahead again and pause and let that complete and let it um, come around and find its signal and, and it'll be pointing to the north and then We'll demonstrate how to uh, put it back down. You'll notice now that the on the antenna control unit to the left, there the red LED is no longer lit, and that's because we are obviously not in a position to stow the antenna. So sit tight. We'll let the antenna acquire, and then we'll come back to you. All right, back again. As you can see, the um, the antenna, the, the flat panel has peaked up on, to the north and on the satellite. And so what we're going to do now, and I will. Um, Show a brief if you can read that so you can see that on my Starlink app it shows to be online so now how we're going to proceed from here is how we're going to, to uh, get the antenna to come down the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our app like this we're going to press on the settings button and then go down to where it says stow and we're going to press the stow button probably, sorry about that so press stow and here's where the issue becomes a problem so yes I answer it okay and as you can see what the antenna did was simply drop in elevation. Now, because of the orientation of the face of this antenna right now, I would not be able to lay it down inside this box because it would, it would not lay down flat and it would not be safe to travel. So this is where my device comes in and what we're able to do with our control unit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press that right and left button that's on the face of the uh, control box until we get a red LED, so stand by. Now, as you can see, the antenna is rotating and we're coming back to a position of where we would be able to lay it back down. But what we have to do is continue to hold this button until we see a red LED. Once that's on, we're able to release the button. And now we're able to put the antenna down. Okay, so as you can see now, we've rotated back around and you can see that on our control unit, we have a red LED illuminated. Kind of hard to see here in the sun um, but now it's ready to put down so we would then press this down button and so there you go the antenna is down and ready to travel i'm going to give you a little quick tour around the antenna and then uh, we're going to get it posted so you use your existing Starlink cable. This is a little bit of a, a, of a spaghetti mess here. And then we also have a uh, six conductor control wire that runs up to the roof that would have to be integrated into the roof of your coach. You've got a mount that is gonna bolt down with some uh, L brackets on each side. This is a wire pass through. This would be, uh, can be used on either side of the mount so that you know if you wanna run your wires down the driver's side of the coach or down the uh, passenger side, you don't have to you know, big, make a big loop. The, um, then, uh, so I'm gonna raise the antenna real quick so you can take a quick look at what's inside.
All right, so the antenna's up, and so basically how this antenna, this system works is there's a linear actuator, a slew bearing, and wiring. And then we have a proximity sensor with a magnet. You would install this small little magnet on the bottom of your dish right in the center, and uh, then you simply can remove the antenna out of the box if you wanted to set out a remote with a spare cable by undoing this set screw and then simply pulling the antenna out of the mount. So that concludes it. Um, Hopefully, if you have any other questions, then, uh, you know, get back to me. I'm sure you will. Appreciate it, and thank you very much.